Hi, welcome back to today's video. In this problem, a coin rolls around this track and you simply have to calculate how many revolutions the coin makes. The coin has a radius of one and each of these three identical semicircles has a radius of six. This line here is also a semicircle. A really easy question I hear you say, but I guarantee you 95% of you will get this wrong. So first, pause the video, give it a go, select an answer from one of these, and then I will go through the calculation and show you where you went wrong. And if you do get it wrong, then you've got to pay the ultimate penalty. You've got to subscribe to this channel. I know, I know, but they're the rules. Okay, have you selected an answer? Then let's begin. The small semicircle has a radius of six. It therefore has a diameter of 12. It therefore has a circumference of 12 pi and it has a semi circumference halfway round of 6 pi. These are all identical. There's three of these so we have a total of 18 pi. The large semicircle at the top has a radius of 18 it has a diameter of 36, a circumference of 36 pi, and a semi-circumference of 18 pi, for a total of 18 pi. The coin has a radius of 1, a diameter of 2, and a circumference of 2 pi. We are not interested in the semi-circumference of the coin. Have you got everything right so far? Are you sure? Okay. Total length of the track, 18 pi plus 18 pi, which is 36 pi. We divide that by the circumference of the coin, which is 2 pi which gives us a grand total of 18. Therefore, the total number of revolutions is 19. Did you get it? Thanks very much for... Hold on, what do you mean you thought the answer was 18? No, it's not 18. It can't be 18. 18 is just the number of times that the circumference of the coin goes into the track length. Did you forget that the coin actually makes one revolution in its own right? So the grand total is 19. Now be honest, did you get it right? If you don't believe this is correct, do the following. Get hold of two identical coins. Hold one still on the table and slowly rotate the other one all the way round. Their circumferences are equal, but you'll see that the coin makes two revolutions. And finally, a follow-up question. If the coin was to go around this track on the inside, how many revolutions would it make? What do you think? Let me know in the comments. Hope you enjoyed that. See you in the next one. 